Bagua. Eight palm changes, Shaolin Lama, battle with the ages, 36 chambers, tiger, snake fist, white crane fist, let the poor train in, when you got the patience, nothing can break you, face it, it ain't just time. Gradual training is very, very good. You can use something like this, something hard, to strengthen your hands. It be a tree, but make sure there's no like sharp things pointing out, and you've got to be careful you don't cut yourself. You know. Also, something hard like this, you can really mess yourself up. So gradual conditioning, relax. soft ones or which are like water and they say that's like the human body. I like to work with ones that are solid like sand in you know so training say that it's a good thing to do. Look at your target, keep it going up, move around, you know, walk in like it's a real opponent. It's a good thing you can do add on to your like shadow boxing. Do some of this sometimes too, you know, working in one, two, three, like jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, change the guard, jab, jab, cross, change the guard, working it, you know. Uh, forearm strikes can be done, but you've got to be careful with the forearms, but you've got to train your forearms too. Like you're doing it gently, so I'm saying gently. Chopping to harming the palms, you know, to, to keep banging that glance, see? And it's what you're doing, see? That's what you're doing. Turning the, the wrist, turning the fist as you go, or keeping it straight. Straight punches, like in wing turn. Elbows can be done for all that. Open back hand, just relax, being careful. Just doing a few of those. For a few of those. Being careful. It does hurt you to be careful if you do it too hard. Forearms, I say forearm strikes, you know this, that Tai Chi for example, can be done working your whole body, just put your wrist on the shoulder, you know, all that can be done, work into it, see double, whatever, punching, whatever it's going to be, and you can work that in. Go on in, see, pop on, get back, work in, see, and you do it, work in your karate, whatever it might be, okay, then work in your technique, so it's a some bit of training you can do, okay, giving you some ideas, okay, work in your blocks as you're moving around too, all that, see. You can work feet in of course too, feet and that for alignment, you know. Well, all that can be done. You know, for your alignment, but you know, for power and that, you know, but, but so basically then you want to work with the you should technique to try and strengthen up your um, your um, surfaces, you know what I'm trying to say. So if you do things like push-ups and stuff on your fist, you'll know, stop there, that's enough of that. So if you do things like push-ups and stuff, you know, on your fists, you know, I always also put my fists on the ground and it strengthens that up, you know, or palms while well, strengthen different parts of your body, you know. But it takes some training, you don't want to make it so do too much and mess yourself up, you know what I mean? Take it easy, you know, don't put all your full power in and mess yourself up. Something hard like this up here, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's a human body, it's not you know the human body you've got to take care, but you want to strengthen it up over time, it's that conditioning gravity bone, making the muscles stronger, you know, skin, make it feeling that how Relax when you do it, you start tapping, 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 getting some power in, but not going all out. You're taking it easy, 
and working it, watching combinations. So then at least you get a bit more training in your circuits to make them strong. You see some people training like in original like karate and like in Thai boxing and stuff. People train really hard, but I'm saying you've got to make sure you just strengthen gradually. And then basically when you end up hitting a surface, it's not like something soft like you know, a body. When you're actually hitting, if you are in a fight, you have to defend yourself. It will be more solid. You, hit, you punch someone in the teeth or some... Same, just same. I've pointed this, for example, hitting someone in the ribs. You could crack something. I mean, you could really do a lot of power because you've got the power in your body. You train normal, however you do in your punch bags or whatever. But when you train on something like solid, like stone, you know what I mean? I call it concrete boxing. I might just stand here even. And there's some steps here. I can stand here and punch this or punch, or punch a wall or something in your house just or you might chop just gradually doing that on a daily basis can strengthen up your surfaces so you've got to work for your blocks all those places that you want to get that surface on you know this it's tough training you know what I mean this is a, a, a concrete boxing it's something I invented but I haven't really for you know, my, my bit of part of my training it is something I like to do you can work it all in there you know? blocks and hits, I have to play block and hit, block up, go in and block and hit, imagining you're doing that, so if someone was really coming in to hit me, I can do a good block, they say, a body hit in here, step across here, chip in there, for example, here, see, just working it carefully, you know, what I'm trying to say, sticking going close and things like that, you know, working all your techniques in there, Put all your techniques in there, you know, so, knees can be working in here, you know, that's it, and you just work in, as you do cover here, Working that solid thread, sort of the felt which you feel the line from the magic so hits going to capacity. Let's focus on the lines and markings on your looking at the So this is something you need to know. But work it in with what you know in whatever style of martial arts you do, you know. Your boxing, but also whatever you know. I mean it's so funny, there's people that do other martial arts and stuff, and then as soon as they start going back to their boxing and that, you know, or there's a punch bag or something, they just go back to the boxing, or even in real fighting situations. You've got to make what really works, but you've got to train it to make it really work. And all your martial arts, you can't just mess around, you know. Take it, train the actual movements in, in thin air first, first, to get the movements right. And then the solidness, you know, training. If you did tiger, you might want to like, grip or something like that, or use a palm, you know, something like that. You've got to be careful how you, how you work it, you know what I mean? But just gradually get some solid, keep a good stance. And gradually just tap, 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 pop, 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 get a feeling in whenever you can, every day or whenever, regular, and you'll be able to feel it. I'm going to be slipping and sliding, so you can pop in here, 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 Don't go all out and get um, overdo it because you might mess yourself up. Take it easy. Train hard and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.